day ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, real cold out there. Uh, sun's already up, but I just want to remind you that the sun goes down at 411 in the afternoon. This is the earliest sunset of the year today through the 11th. So at least after this, they start getting a little bit later um, because these early sunsets, man, they get to all of us. So bus stop this morning was teens and 20s. We've got 30s out there this afternoon, which means you're going to be bundled up all day long. It's really not going to be a very warm day at all today. Now, Notice that the jet stream pattern today features a bit of a dip, which means cold air comes in from the north. The pattern will shift and by the weekend we've got a big bend, which means the warm air comes up from the south and that's going to give us a nice little warm up into the weekend. Not a little warm up, a major warm up into the weekend. First though, there's your 30s this afternoon, mid 30s in Boston, Situate in Worcester, 33 in Ipswich and Portsmouth, 34 Hyannis and in Provincetown. Overnight tonight, we're going to fall back into the 20s. That's how you wake up tomorrow morning and tomorrow. At least we've got some 40s back. I mean, it's not a great warm up, but it's the first step in what's going to be a massive warm up this weekend. 50 Saturday, about 60 on Sunday. I would say Saturday, my pick of the weekend, because on Sunday you've got increasing clouds. You've got increasing wind throughout the day and we're going to get into some late rain as well. And that's the next storm that should be on your radar. This is a look at Sunday evening as rain is moving in. It's so warm that it is just plain rain. We're not expecting any snow or any ice with this one. Rain and wind set to peak right here Monday morning and then the whole storm system moves out on Monday afternoon. So right now my top weather concern is going to be the potential for strong wind Sunday night into Monday morning. Uh, I, I could see some gusts over 50 miles per hour which means we're going to have to watch for some either wind damage, power outages or both. It's going to be a soaker one to three inches of rain currently in the forecast. As far as coastal impacts, there may be some areas, especially south facing beaches, where we end up with some beach erosion or some minor coastal flooding. It's a little too soon for these specific details, so I really don't want to break it down too much more than that. But this is 